How about Justin Herbert? What do you make of his first couple weeks? Yeah, so I and I know you weren't you weren't a Herbert guy either. No, mm -mm. Um, I was very far on that end of the spectrum as well. I, I had a second round grade on him, um, and I went as far as comparing him to Paxton Lynch at the end of the draft process, um, and. I said his like his ceiling would be a Jared Goff, where if he has a good structure mm. around him, he he can play in rhythm, he can be accurate. Um, I just don't trust him to become that kind of next level quarterback. And he's out the gate really exceeding my expectations in a few things. For for one, his arm has been as good as advertised, and as low as I were, was on Herbert, some people disagreed with me when I said that the second he gets drafted, he's going to be top four, top five arm talents in the NFL. Cause he just, he really does have that close to like Josh Allen, Mahomes, Rogers arm, um, which, which if used correctly can be lethal as we've, we saw last week, especially. Um, but what, what he's done is he's been more consistent with his accuracy, which has surprised me. Um, he at Oregon, in my opinion, had, you know, 80, 90% of his throws were great and they looked awesome. But then that 10% of his throws would just totally get airmailed nowhere in the right vicinity and he I don't I haven't seen that show up quite yet in his first yeah. three starts so that's been that's been something that he's kind of proven me wrong on but that wasn't that was far from my biggest criticism of Herbert my my biggest problem was um sort of the pocket feel and do you trust the guy out of structure and um what, what we're really seeing I think is Herbert is actually a lot more comfortable uh navigating the pocket than I anticipated uh it reminds me a lot of Gardner Minshew with Jacksonville where you know I totally just did not think he was a mobile quarterback at all and when you really look at his Washington State days you know they had quick hitting horizontal offense pretty good pass protection I, I think it, a lot of it was he didn't have a lot of opportunities to show some of that play extension and it kind of reminds me a little bit of that uh, mm -hmm. but I, I think that's probably where I was the most wrong on Herbert was he actually looks to me really comfortable in the pocket and I think that's going to really help him develop unlike say um, another quarterback at a second round grade on the year before and Daniel Jones who I think is just completely lost in the pocket and doesn't have any of that confidence and yeah. I think that's really going to help him develop in a very similar way to what we're seeing from Josh Allen right now where when you have that kind of crutch where like you can not even necessarily do the Russell Wilson Watson thing where you're you're dancing around and making crazy plays, but even just the subtle moves to like feel the blitz, step up, and you know step into a throw over the middle. Like when you have that confidence to do that, it just helps the game slow down so much more, yeah. and it, you just play confident. And I think that's something that I didn't ex expect from Herbert that we're really seeing at a pretty good level, especially for a rookie. The the last thing I'll say here before I turn it over to you is the that was a big criticism the accuracy was was a bit of a problem for me and then um right there with the pocket presence stuff was his decision making out of structure kind of the what the hell are you doing throws mm. and that's where some of the trubisky comps came into play in the draft season now i will say that that has still kind of been there um all three of his games, they're, they're own three, right? They've, it's, yep. they've been all close games, so I lose track of how they ended up. But um, <laughs> yeah. um, all three games, he's had a back-breaking second-half interception in a close game that ended up helping the other team win the game because he had the Chiefs pick where if he just scrambles for that first down, he had 10 yards to run, yep. he just chucks it up over the middle of the field. Like, you're pulling your hair out like, dude. What are you doing? Like, why do you have <laughs> the game, dude? You're going to beat the Super Bowl champs in your rookie debut. And he just does that. It's like, oh, no. Why? And then the uh, he had a bad pick against the Panthers. Uh, I think that was throwing a corner route, and he didn't see the buzz safety, I believe, is kind of mm. what happened there. And then okay. – um, he just, I have, I honestly, I watched the um, game losing interception against the Bucks last week. I watched it ten times. I have no idea what he saw, um, mm. and it's just like, all right, it's it's three weeks. Don't want to overreact, but that is something that was a part of his college tape consistently, two or three times a week. Now the question becomes, can do we do we see kind of like the Josh Allen stuff where he gets more comfortable, he stops doing that stuff. Or does it go the other way where it actually goes closer to what his his track record is and he makes two or three of those mistakes a game? So it, I'm totally giving him a chance. I give every quarterback a blank slate when they get into the league. 
Um, and that's that's why I'm much more intrigued by what I've seen from Herbert compared to Daniel Jones, who had a similar grade on. Um, but yeah, what, what do you think about Herbert so far? I'm trying to be really careful. I, um, I want to wait till either, either the year is going to end or 10 games in before I really, because my problem is it's too small of a sample size. And I, I love everything I've seen, but I also there were times at Oregon where I loved what I saw. You know what I mean? And there, I right. just, I don't want to jump the gun. I will say he looks a lot better than I would have expected. Pretty obviously. I mean, we're like, wow, he's putting up big numbers and numbers are great, but he's also not winning. And that's concerning. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I like what you said about giving him a fair chance because that's what I'm going to try to do. I have nothing against him. I do wonder if having – being able to do football full-time might help him. He had a tough major at college in college, and I think at Oregon had a lot of other stuff going on. His family was there. He's removed from them. He's very focused on football. That might help him a little bit. Uh, I will say I'm surprised he's doing as well as he is. The mistakes are still killing me. The weird back-breaking interceptions are like ha- – I, again – this is the same problem he's always had. The, the question has never been, is he physically capable? He's got an incredible gift of to, uh, tool, a tool set of physical skills. The question is, can he be consistent? And so far, it's like sometimes, but that's actually not what consistency is defined by. So I don't – we'll just see where we are in 10 weeks. I'm, I was curious on your take, but I just am kind of like, we'll wait and see. Yeah, and I hope he yeah, does well. The, the thing – like the picks, they're not – like we said with Joe Burrow. Like Burrow's picks were a broken screenplay where he tried to shovel pass it, and Melvin Ingram made a great reactionary yep. pick. And yep. Miles Jack making an incredible play where he literally rips a touchdown out of Burrow's hands. Her- Herbert's, it's like you, you can't defend <laughs> – like you can't explain <laughs> the thinking yeah. behind it. Um, one, one last note that um, I thought was interesting was uh, – did you watch Hard Knocks this year? Yeah, I did. Yep. So, do you remember? Um, it was a it was a small thing, but a- Anthony Lynn had to tell Herbert when they were going through walkthroughs to um, follow through your reads because Herbert was just doing the one read and stopping in the walkthrough, mm. and he was like, "Follow through on your reads." And it, at first, I was like, "Why is he not doing that?" And then I remembered, or, or at least had the idea that maybe he just like Oregon's coaching maybe is just really not that good as far as translating to NFL success. So mm. um, it just just some some things to kind of compare and contrast the NFL coaching to Oregon that I thought was interesting potentially. That's surprising. Yeah, you normally, even in high school, I would catch the ball, throw it to the out guy, and then continue or at least work through all in a walkthrough, like on air, go through yeah. to your last read. That's kind of weird. I've never... Yeah, and he started, I, yeah. he started almost four full years at Oregon. So like at some point, they probably would have told him to start doing that. And it would just become second nature. Um, so, I mean, it could be just small intricacies like that that we're not noticing. Like, okay, now that they have a coaching staff that's actually telling him every aspect of practice, you got to pay attention to the details and go through all your reads. Like, that could actually be a big step forward as far as his development. Well, and by the way, his quarterback coach, Pep Hamilton, is a great, great quarterback coach. Like, he's really in a good – he was yeah, a former yeah. – head coach of DC defenders in the XFL. He's like a really good quarterback coach. That'll yeah. help him a lot too. Yeah. So we'll see. Sure. I don't want to be too hard on him. I don't want to be too I, – I just want to wait and see. I haven't really talked about it much. I've been intentional. Just people are like – I get – I feel like people are spamming me with messages saying, admit you were wrong. Admit. Right. Admit. I'm yeah. like, I'm not going to bend the knee yet, guys. Let's wait till. I know. I, 10 I more went games, through the maybe. same thing with Lamar Jackson where, mm. like, I'm – like, I actually liked Lamar coming out. Um, yeah. And he showed flaws in his first year, and I pointed them out. Like, he was the worst accuracy-charted quarterback um, in the modern PFF era as far as missed throws to open targets. And he didn't look comfortable in the pocket, and he threw for six yards in his first playoff game until it was garbage time. So I was like, Mm -hmm. I I, am not ready to say Lamar Jackson is a good quarterback. I think I, I ranked him, like, one of the worst quarterbacks in the league entering his MVP season. And I was happy to be wrong and i love watching lamar now but like i'm not you know people like you and me like when you're confident in what you saw you say what you see and then you react to new information and there's always going to be people especially fans that are going to turn a blind eye to any problem at all and just be all in on these guys becoming superstars no matter what that are going to say i was right you were wrong it's just you know just be confident in in what you see and i think there's a balance that we all need as far as acknowledging what happened and what is happening if that makes sense well it's also kind of frustrating people really struggle with new information it's okay to change your mind i mean that's right. our job is to look at what we see and say here's what's happening right now 
our job is not to be we remove emotion from it for the most part I mean I don't I love Gardner Minshew I might be a little bit blind on that one but I, I really love I, I, I try to remove my emotion as much as possible yeah. and the reality is watching Lamar Jackson throw in college then his first year in the NFL you went mmm that's got that, that needs work but it doesn't mean he can't get better and he's actually changed the way I evaluate uh, Jarrett King the quarterback of Miami where I look at Jarrett mm. King now and I go I don't like the way he throws the ball it's, it's ugly it comes out weird a lot of the time I'm not confident in that currently but it doesn't mean he couldn't get better. And what I'm trying to look at with a guy like Derek King is say, like, he struggles to throw the ball in, in ways I don't like right now. But he's a great leader. He works hard. He runs the ball well. If he gets a good coach who believes in him and can develop his skill set, and he can develop as a thrower of the football the way Lamar Jackson did, then maybe. And before yeah. I would have just said he's never going to work. Now I'm saying it's a maybe because Lamar Jackson did. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, totally. I mean, I, the first thing I thought of when he said that was, like, Jalen Hurts needs to send – Lamar or Ferrari or something because I don't know if Jalen Hurts gets drafted if it's not for what Lamar Jackson did um, as far as overhauling his mechanics and all that because um, I was I was down at the senior bowl and Hurts actually looked really good throwing the football and his throwing motion looked completely different Mm -hmm. from what it was in Oklahoma and I think that that willingness to and, and Lamar totally changed his mechanics too so to totally like that that willingness to take a chance on a guy with better coaching I think Lamar and um, Josh Allen right now is, is his mechanics haven't necessarily changed, but we're seeing more development at the quarterback position now than say five, six years ago. 